Welcome back to 3R Ballistics. Today we have some slow motion video and we'll be going over some of the common fabrics used in level 3A body armor. We will be going over the UHMWPE which is ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, Kevlar, and then the third one will be fiberglass. While the first two can be used as soft body armor, fiberglass usually needs some resin to to make it level 3A. And we'll be shooting the 9mm, a 147 grain full metal jacket plus P with an average velocity of around 1200 feet per second. And the reason for this testing is we want to see how each one of these fabrics reacts to the projectile hitting it. Each one catches the projectile differently and each one reacts differently. So let's get into the slow motion video. So first up is the Kevlar and you can see the typical reaction of Kevlar is to catch it almost like a catcher's glove. It retains a lot of that energy going back uh, into the paper is what I have behind this one and then springing forward. Next up we have the polyethylene. Now while it does still catch a lot less of the energy is you know projected out the back. Now this material still seems to spring forward and onto the fiberglass as you can see what's strange about this is there's very little transfer of energy and it tends to break up the bullet just a little bit more like the strike face of body armor. And here from a front view you can actually see that a little bit better as the bullet enters in and just gets stuck right on the first few layers. And as you see here, very, very little back face deformation. Now again with the Kevlar, just like a catcher's mitt, straight in, catches it, and actually did put a little tear in the ballistics gel behind it. And the last one again, polyethylene, I mean, it stops it cold. It only went through two layers of polyethylene. Well, you will need multiple layers just to stop the projectile. And finally, just some bonus footage, some more slow motion video I have of shooting fiberglass, polyethylene, and Kevlar.